and Bethany McLean here at SALT 2019 with Lynn de Rothschild, the founder and CEO of the Coalition for Inclusive Capitalism. So Lynn, how do you define inclusive capitalism? Well, inclusive capitalism is simply a market-based economy that is sustainable, inclusive, dynamic, strong, and trusted. And how does it differ from the capitalism that most people believe exists in America? What's the key distinction? Well, sadly, 60% of Americans don't believe the system works for them. So by definition, that's not inclusive. And that is both a reality for them and sad for all of us and unsustainable. Uh, so if we don't have inclusive capitalism, the question is where does our economy and our society go? So it is in everyone's interest to make sure that we're investing in and supporting companies that are doing the right thing for their people, for their communities, for the planet, making innovative, safe, and desirable products. The point of inclusive capitalism and the reason to be at this conference is to make the point that we need a race to the top as investors. As investors, we need to get behind the companies that are doing the right thing for all constituents. And once that happens, the other companies will follow. I love that notion of a race to the top. So you have right now people like Ray Dalio of Bridgewater and Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan Chase talking about this issue, that capitalism isn't working for a great majority of people in the United States. Why do you think the issue is so timely right now? Well, I think it's timely because for the first time in my life, the notion of socialism has gotten some traction with people. And polls show that a majority of millennials want socialism over capitalism. So that's one reason. And the other reason is that from the right, the anger toward capitalism is real and palpable. And it's creating a divisive kind of populism. So that's why I think you have leaders talking about it. You also have Mark Benioff and Larry Fink talking specifically about inclusive capitalism. So we need inclusive capitalism to be in the narrative. We're not going to get it right overnight, but if we can live in a society where people believe that they are included in the outcome, the positive outcome, and they have an opportunity, we're all going to be a lot better off. Thanks so much for being with us. So that's Linda Rothschild talking about one of the most important issues facing our economy today, which is how we bridge the gap between the people who feel that the system is working for them and the many people who do not.